Oh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. When the people of New York vote Brooklyn as the hip place, you know it's got to be cool. Cooler than Manhattan, even? Quite possibly. With delicious ethnic food, artisanal coffee, and street art on every corner, this is the place that needs to be on your itinerary. We are today coming to New York's very trendy area called Brooklyn. And Brooklyn is famous for many small shops, including food. So today, I have a friend who wants to bring me to eat a very good, 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 very good. Brooklyn has people coming from over a hundred different cultures. Sarah is one of the millennials who is mixing up things deliciously. Um, Hi, Janice. Good to see How you. you. Thanks for coming. I follow the smell. Oh, <laughs> yes, we do that on purpose. Have a can right here. Yeah, yeah, very, very smart. smell down the street. Oh my gosh, you really don't know what we're doing, but now it's just a Vietnamese noodle. It's just a Vietnamese noodle. It's just a Vietnamese noodle. Vietnamese noodles is not the new kid in town. We've all had it. We all love to eat the noodles and slurp down the soup. But Lucy's has a twist. Slow cooked braised barbecue brisket meat. I think I just drooled saying that. Oh, that is so good. Oh, Especially in a weather, on a day like this, when the weather is so cold. Yeah, it's perfect. Thank you very much, Juan. Mm -hmm. You will yeah. find me. Yeah, so this is a banh mi made with 14 hours smoked brisket. 14 hours? 14 hours, yeah. And it's also made with a house um, garlic aioli, yeah. pickled carrots, cucumbers, and beet sprouts. Wow. And so the same brisket is inside the pho as well? Yes, exactly. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. So coming from it's Texas, our... I love brisket. I know, that is so amazing <laughs> to hear you're from Texas. Uh, it makes me miss home. Speaking of home, Lucy's is named after the owner's grandma and she would be proud that her home-cooked pho noodle is being shared with people from all over the world. Ah, that was good. Oh Very good, good. Like, <laughs> you liked it, and it was a taste of Texas too. Yeah, it was, a taste of Texas that here in, uh, in Brooklyn. I yeah, didn't. it's really gentrifying in this area. It's changing very, very quickly, yeah. And I don't know, I feel like... So right now I'm taking you to Mixtape Cafe. It's uh -huh. one of my favorite coffee shops in this neighborhood. You know, we're all friends with each other. We're all hanging out, eating, yeah. supporting each other's businesses. This is a great spot if you want to sit, people watch, yeah. the trains are going across the track above you. Oh my gosh. It's a very like Bushwick neighborhood experience. Uh -huh. yeah. 这边真的非常有趣，我们就是在路边喝咖啡。然后你如果往上看的话，可能等一下会有火车走过去，因为这个就是一个火车的那个铁路，很酷哎。好，你要不要喝一杯咖啡<笑> ？Sitting on the street, drinking a coffee, and chatting away with entrepreneur, visionary storyteller Sarah, you can feel the buzz, the creativity, the excitement in the Brooklyn air. It's no wonder so many people are choosing to call this place home.